Hi, my name's Claire. Welcome to this class for uh, women who have recently undergone surgery for breast cancer. Um, this is the second week exercises uh, post-operation. So I've had a full auxiliary lymph node dissection and an, a lumpectomy myself just about eight days ago. Um, I'm going to do them all against the wall today, just for people that might not be able to get down to the floor. Um, you can also always use the wall for support at any time you need to. But also, depending on what space you have available and where you are, um, it's nice to have different options to be able to access the movements that are going to help you. So starting then, perhaps by even um, bringing your feet against the wall and noticing the parts of your body that make contact with the wall as you stand against it. And relax your arms down by your sides. And perhaps you can allow, you might notice a space um, under your lower back, which is very normal. If it's very excessive, then perhaps noticing what happens when you gently draw in around the mid part of your spine, just softly, there's nothing forced or hardened at all. And then see if you can, when you breathe, allow part of your back body to move towards the wall or even into the wall. So starting to become aware of your rib cage as a, like, a, like a basket. It's a 3D in nature. It's around the back and the front of the body. And when you breathe, you're breathing down to the lower lobes of the lungs. And that creates an expansion as you breathe in. And as you exhale, it's just simple relaxation, not doing anything, not forcing anything. So breathing in. And gently breathing out. And looking to see if your shoulders are as you inhale. And if you do, and if that's happening, that's also likely to cause a, uh, some activity where you might have had your operation as well. So starting from a place of softness, from letting go, and from relaxation. And perhaps using the wall as some feedback to what's happening with your breath. You can also bring your hands onto your shoulders and think about your shoulders staying relaxed. And seeing if you can allow the back of your body to move towards the wall, or maybe you feel it making contact with the wall. Maybe you can feel your lower part of your ribs connecting with the wall as you breathe in. And then exhaling and relaxing. You might notice the front of your body moving as well and the back of your body. So there's almost a sense of breathing inside out. Exhaling and relaxing. You might like to visualise a balloon and as you inhale you're filling your belly and your ribs up with air like a balloon inflating. And exhaling as it naturally deflates. There's a sense of the breath coming down and it's soft and it's slow and it's gradual. And then relax your arms down by your sides. Inhale, gently bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhaling, relax them down, keeping the same breath pattern going. So start to link your breath to movement. Inhale as the shoulders gently draw up, lifting from the shoulder blades. Exhaling and relaxing. You can have the palms to face forward, which will help to create some expansion across the chest. Inhaling up. Exhaling to lower and visualise the tips of your shoulder blades gliding down the rib cage towards your hips. And two more, inhaling up, exhaling down, last one, inhale up, exhaling down, and just taking a slight step away from the wall. You can come to the side and use the wall for support if you, if you feel like you need to. Inhale, bring your shoulders forward and up, and exhaling gently out and down. And again, just listening in to your first repetition and to see where your range of movement might, might be right for you today. And knowing that it's probably gonna change each day, and you might start to notice your range of movement naturally increasing. Just remembering that a few little twinges, a little bit of a sensation of pulling or realigning or reorganizing is actually really healthy. 
of course we want to be aware of forcing or pain and if so reduce range of movement. Inhaling as the shoulders open, exhaling forward. So one more in this direction. Okay, bring your hands onto your elbows. Remember, inhaling, linking breath to movement, elbows come forward, exhaling down. And just taking a moment to perhaps notice how these exercises are feeling this week compared to your first week. You can really start to feel the benefits of doing this movement practice and that will encourage you to keep going as you move through your healing journey. Drawing the elbows up and lowering. And then I invite you to allow your elbow or your shoulders to roll and open outward before you bring the elbows up. So there's that sense of width or expansion across the chest. Inhale, elbows out to the side. Exhale, lower. Really accessing the ribs for your breath as the elbows come up. You feel the breath coming into the sides and the backs of the rib cage. Exhaling down, and you could feel this against the wall again to see. Inhaling, exhaling down. So you're not over tensing around the shoulders. The breath's coming around the ribs. There's a softness with the breath, even though the elbows and the shoulder blades are involved. And then come back, take a step away from the wall again. Inhale your arms out to the side. Exhale behind your backs. You can see if you can start to move your hands up towards your shoulders. Maybe you can find a reverse prayer. So just listening into your bodies at this moment in time. Inhale, open out to the side. Think of reaching your little finger and thumb away. Exhale, bring the arms behind. You've always got the option of holding onto the elbow of the opposite side or using that hand to encourage. It's called back scratching, so you might be able to start scratching your back, your shoulder blades. Inhale, open reach. Exhale, the arms behind. If you find that your range of movement is limited, I would encourage you to keep going with the movement practice after the two weeks. Inhaling wide, exhaling. One more time, inhaling to open, reach. Expand, enjoy that sense of spreading out. That allows reorganization to take place. Exhaling, arms behind, notice the shoulders opening. Coming behind your backs. Gently releasing down. So interlacing your hands now behind your backs, behind your heads. And I invite you to do the opposite way to the way that you naturally go to do it. Elbows start forwards. And you can do this against the wall. Inhale to open out and expand. Exhaling forwards. You might start with a smaller range and see if you can get your elbows to perhaps come onto the wall or the back of your arms. If that's not available for you today, that's completely fine. It's going to feel different every day. Some of you might be at the beginning of your second week. Other people might be at the end. And it will always be dependent on what range of movement was available before your operation. So it's really important to progress gradually. Inhale, open. Exhale, forward. Last one. Inhale, open. Exhale, forward. Release your arms down and turn to face the wall. So your hands are going to come sliding up the wall, creepy, creepy, as far as you can. Maybe notice the difference between one side and the other. Now I invite you to press into the mound of your big toes lift your ribs see if you can slide your ribs slightly up the wall and then let your arms follow and then be with your breath and we'll try to uh, avoid excess tension through the shoulders if you find your shoulders are hunching and that's creating excess tension around the shoulders which then might create excess nerve sensation around where you had your operation maybe bring your arms out into a y shape and reach from there 
this could be your starting point and then gradually gradually creeping your fingers in and releasing back down you could also try bringing your arms out into a t-shape see how that feels maybe even start putting a little bit of pressure into the wall as you reach keep it there as you slide up to a y reach out through the thumb and the little finger lift the ribs with your breath spreading out pressing into the four corners of your feet and then slowly if it's available reaching up and slowly sliding down so you can start to explore which of these movements feels the most beneficial for you inhaling sliding up you can come straight up you can come through your t position through your y position feel that lifting of the spine away from the pelvis notice the grounding down through your feet so you're really affecting the tissues now in the whole body so that it can reorganize itself this distrib redistributing that's a nice for you to press into the mound of one foot and reach slightly higher up on one side and then on the opposite side so this might be an optional progression as you come towards the second end of your second week slowly bringing the arms back down nice do it two more times you've got the option of coming through t getting a slight pressure into the wall there starting to trust the strength coming back into the area as well as the range of movement. We've known that mild stretching is a good healthy sign. Looking to help reduce excess adhesions and scar tissue. Slowly, slowly drawing back down as long as there isn't any pain. If something's not feeling right for you, then do go and see your breast care nurse. Last one, inhaling up. Exhaling and releasing. And then turning to the side so that the side you are operated on is facing the wall. And you might start with your feet away from the wall slowly slide that creep hand up and then maybe if it feels good you can take a step into the wall and really open out to the side body and breathe use your breath to soften release and allow to come back to that language of allowing of acknowledging of being curious maybe noticing that if you find a sensation that's um, stretching a bit tender mildly sore when you stay with it with the breath sometimes you move through it and that eases and just noticing if that's true for you if that's true for you that's normally a sign of good healthy movement um, if you get pain that start to increase that's a sign to reduce your range of movement but discomfort soreness um, stretching that's normally a good sign, especially if it eases with the breath. And slowly releasing that down. So this is a real opportunity for you to step into your bodies and form a, a relationship with your bodies, really exploring what's going on. And you can take these concepts into any form of movement practice, breath practice, of living a really mindful life with your body as you move forwards on your healing journey. Slowly coming back down. And then again, almost enjoying learning what your body wants and what your body needs and what's helping your body. And then taking some satisfaction that you are pay, playing an instrumental role in that. You are taking what's called inspired action to help yourself. Drawing back down. Last one inhaling up and it's just giving yourself permission to be where you are so you might still be away from the wall your hand your elbow might be soft or maybe you can start to really reach out through that side the 
inhaling and gently sliding the hand down the wall. Just taking a moment to notice now any sensations in your body after those quite deep stretches. Because that's got a lot of range of movement going on. Um, and you might notice there's a sense of lightness. You might notice some tingling, a bit of heat, or some shifting that's taken place. It might, you might get a sense of openness around the chest and around the, the armpit. So just acknowledging any shifts that you're experiencing, any differences from one side to the other. And having a sense of fresh oxygenated blood coming to the area to heal. And then any waste products being taken away from that area. There's a constant interplay of giving and receiving to restore health and well-being. So we're going to do the exercises that you can do lying down. We're going to do standing up. So you can have a pole, you can interlace your fingers, or you could have something to hold onto a pole or a broom handle. So I'll do a, a few of both uh, variations. You're going to inhale, bring your arms forwards. Get the lift of the ribs away from the waist. Really grounding down through the feet. That's where your support structure is coming from, lifting up from the ground. And then the arms can come up and find your place. So you might like to bring the hands wider and slowly bring them together and lift. So again, just exploring in your own bodies what's feeling right for you today. And again, they can start to get a little bit of a lift on one side. Releasing and a little bit of a lift on the opposite side. And then drawing back down. So moving with the breath. Inhaling forwards. Exhaling. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you to be completely against the wall, then you can bring the feet forwards as well. So if you're getting any back tension against the wall, bring the feet forwards and soften the knees a little bit. Inhaling up and lowering down. And you can bring the arms out to the side. So these exercises are really good for helping cording, uh, which I have experienced and it's getting better every day. And I can feel that these exercises are really helping with that. And the only way I could describe the cording is like a twanging, like guitar strings that felt like they were flicking over each other. So if you've been experiencing that, then knowing that that is normal, um, but you can, if they're, if they're significant, then that is another indication to go back to the breast care nurse. They can do some manual manipulations to help. But these exercises are really good for that. So kind of lowering back down all the way. So two more, I'm gonna demonstrate without the pole, just in case people don't have them. Can I encourage you to interlace your fingers the opposite way to the way that feels most naturally for you to do it. Inhale the arms forward, exhaling it up. And again, there's that lift from around the side of the body to lift you up from the ribs. That will help excess tension around the neck and shoulders. So if you can start to impress your palms of your hands together and extend and reach out through the elbows, so you're getting a nice long line. And then slowly lowering back down. Last one, inhale, arms forward and up. So reaching, maybe even just pausing and noticing how it feels. To protract the shoulders. And reaching the arms all the way up, lengthening, pressing the heels of your hands together. And gently lowering back down. Lovely, then bring the interlace your hands behind your back. So maybe you want to switch to the opposite side now of the way you interlace. You're going to bring the elbows back, find the wall if you can, and press against the wall. Slide the shoulders down. So you can do this on the floor. You can do both of the last exercises on the floor as it's, as it's detailed in the handout. But this is another option if it's feeling comfortable. And it's an alternative if you're unable to access the floor right now. Inhale. And reaching open. So you can also do this, um, all of these exercises you can do in a chair, apart from you're not gonna have the feedback of a wall or floor for this one here. Okay, but if you are in a chair, um, then you can follow this exact class doing everything 
in the chair and just you won't have the wall to press into or the floor to press into for this one, one exercise. Inhale, exhaling open. Really just visualise a nice big smile across your chest. I like to visualise little pink hearts just pouring out of my breasts and also under my armpits. Just visualising that every cell in my body in this moment in time is completely healthy. It's alive, they are dancing, they are singing, all 15 trillion cells in your body are orchestrating together in harmony to bring you wholeness, vitality, wellness, and healing. And anything you do in your day-to-day -day life that makes your heart sing is going to be making your cells sing. And a few things I've been doing, I've been going in the sea most days, which has been amazing for making my cells feel alive. But if you like dancing, if you like singing, taking a cold shower, anything that makes you feel enlivened, any hobbies you've got, are going to all play an instrumental part in your health and your learning in your healing journey. Releasing your arms down by your sides, rolling the shoulders once more, inhaling, exhaling round. Still linking breath to movement, starting to think of letting go of anything that your body no longer needs as you breathe out. So inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling, exhale, and reversing round in the opposite direction. So letting go of any physical tension, any emotional tension. Any thoughts that you might be having that might not be serving you. It's an opportunity to let them go with your breath. So acknowledging them and letting them go. And then inhale, shoulders out and up towards your ears, and exhale. Inhale, gently up, exhale. If it feels good for you to let, make some noise as you exhale, feel free to do so. Last one, inhale up, exhale, release. And then just opening and closing your mouth, releasing through your jaw. We're really scrunching up your face, inhaling, and as you exhale, and stick your tongue out, open your jaw, really stretching, releasing tension away from the face, the neck. One more time, inhale, scrunch up, tight ball around the face. Exhale, and slowly releasing back down. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder, right palm faces forward. Breathing space between your shoulder and your ear. Inhale, head up to center. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder, left palm faces forward. Pressing into the feet, inhale, floating your head on top of your spine. One more gentle roll backwards, inhale. Exhale to lower. Bring your hands to your heart centers, thumbs into your breastbone, if that's comfortable. Just taking a moment to thank yourselves for making this time to do these exercises, which are so beneficial for you on so many levels. And just really sending some healing love to your bodies thanking your body for doing an amazing job in your recovery. Remembering to be kind to yourself, taking time to rest, to breathe, to go inwards. And just knowing that any emotions you might be feeling right now are completely normal. And really acknowledging how you're feeling and releasing any emotions with love and kindness to yourself. Knowing that you're moving through in the transitionary period, moving through day by day, and that you're healing more and more on all levels. I'm sending an enormous amount of healing light from the depth of my soul to the depth of yours 
Namaste.